Hello everyone, today we're going to take a quick walk around look at this 1973 Ford Mustang convertible. This will be a quick walk around, give you a little bit more information about this vehicle. It is painted in light goldenrod metallic and has a white convertible top. Interior is saddle vinyl. It is powered by a 210 horsepower, 302 cubic inch, two valve V8 engine. It has a three speed cruise o matic automatic transmission. This vehicle came from the Mecham Auto Auction. It is equipped with a dual exhaust. Overall, the body is in really good shape and the interior is immaculate. The vehicle drives good, it runs good, it runs smooth. As you can see, it still has the factory tonneau cover for the convertible top. Those usually end up missing and this one is still here. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the interior. As you can see, it is the saddle brown with the brown carpeting. The Ford coat is 5739. It is vinyl trim. It has a black uh, plastic accents. It also has vinyl wood grain trim as well. It has original factory seat belts on all four seats. It has the factory fastened belts buzzer. As you can see, this vehicle is in really, really good shape. All right, we're gonna sweep across the interior just so you can get a better view of it. It does have manual windows and manual mirrors. It has a power operated top. It does have power steering and power brakes. It does not have air conditioning. However, the blower motor and the fans all work perfectly. It does have an option for defrost or the vents and the, the switch works as well. It has the original Philco AM radio. The miles are stated to be accurate by the owner, however the title unfortunately does not reflect that, it just reflects as TMU, but as for the owner it is correctly accurate. The cruise matic 3 speed automatic transmission shifts perfectly, it's very smooth. Locking glove box. The seats and the carpets are in really really good shape does have the original Ford starting instructions. This is a quick look at the back seat. All the seat belts work. Alright, here's a view of the trunk. It is important to note that there is no rust on this vehicle. It does have the original Ford houndstooth uh, mats and spare tire cover. Alright, this does conclude our quick look at this 1973 Ford Mustang Convertible. If you have any questions or would like to see this vehicle, please contact our showroom. One of our friendly sales staff will be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. And as always, thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Michael Breen with EV West and today we have a treat for you. We have a 1963 Volkswagen Classic Beetle that we just converted for a customer and we want to take a little bit of time to show you some of the nice features of this car. Let's check it out. Alright, so here we are at the front of our Beetle and the nice thing about this conversion is we utilized the factory gas tank location. We removed it and created a custom battery box that actually uses the factory bolt locations for the gas tank. So we didn't even have to drill any holes or do any modifications to the front. And what we did was we managed to fit a spare tire in here, which uh, is kind of rare amongst Volkswagen uh, conversions. We also have our aluminum battery box up here that's custom made to fit in here. And we have our little uh, marine board lid. I'm going to take this off for you and you can take a look. We have our box in here. We have our fuse inside the battery box. We have our steel hold downs and our 6061 aluminum battery straps. Makes for a really clean, really efficient setup in the front of this car. That's about all there is to see up here. I know some of you guys in the last video were asking to really see the batteries. There they are. Again, not much to see, but uh, let's go take a look at the back of the car where the motor and the rest of the components are. If you've never done an electric car before, we estimate that this is a one to two week conversion with our kit. It's a straight, drop-in kit, everything bolts in, and there's very, very minimal alteration to the car. And we really like to see that. So here we are taking a look at the dashboard, and you'll notice we really maintained a factory look. 
We just have one gauge in there. Just to the right of the speedometer, we've installed a Xantrex Link Pro. And of course, this gives us our voltage and state of charge and other important details about the battery pack. Okay, so here we are at our rear battery box. This is situated right behind the rear seat and it really doesn't take up much cabin space. So it's uh, nice and convenient back here. We've currently got the lid off the box so you can see some of the detail work inside the battery compartment. All right, so here we are back at the engine compartment on our Volkswagen, and this is where this conversion really shines. We spend a lot of time back here on aesthetics to really make the engine compartment look clean. So we're gonna take a look at some of the components. Starting at the top, we have our PFC 2500 charger by Elcon, great little charger. We can charge it 110 volts and 220. This conversion is equipped with a level two J1772 charge port right here. So it's nice and accessible for the customer. We have our DC converter over here in the back corner, and then we have our liquid cooling, our radiator vents, and our pump and reservoir over here. And that uh, liquid cools our Curtis 1238-6501 controller with our AC50 uh, AC motor underneath it. So what we did is we really spent a lot of time cleaning this up. We have this kit, this will be available online at evwest.com and you can basically do the same thing to your bug. Make it nice and clean and mean as ever. All right, let's go for a ride in this thing and check it out, see what it's really like. All right, so here we are getting ready to take a little drive in the bug. Uh, again, no starting the engine, just turn the key on, put it in first gear, and we're ready to go, just like that. Again, we're not using the clutch. We don't have to uh, feather the clutch when we roll away. It's a nice thing about this. You know, online we get a lot of questions that people ask about transmissions and uh, why we like them, why we use them. We really prefer a car with a manual transmission. That way you can kind of adjust the gear to, to the speed that you drive and the amount of torque that you need at the moment. Uh, generally speaking, you kind of just leave it in one or two gears, uh, usually like second or third gear. Um, you know, these little AC motors are so torquey you can actually start off in third gear, which is kind of nice. Uh, that way you don't have to shift, you don't have to worry about using the clutch. Uh, we have customers that don't even know how to use a standard transmission and they have no problem driving an electric car. So that's kind of nice to know. So here I am in third gear. I'm just going to give it gas. We're just going to cruise away. Again, there's just no lack of power, no lack of acceleration. Um, third gear will take you all the way up to 60 miles an hour in this car. So uh, really not much of a need to spend a lot of time shifting and finding that perfect gear. You know, I got to tell you, in my younger days, I spent a lot of time in Volkswagens, but never liked them as much as this one. They were always slow and stinky, etc. But this car is great, nice and quiet, plenty of power. It just surges when you hit the pedal. And uh, really starting to think I should be in a Volkswagen again. All right, well, that about wraps up our drive in our 1963 Volkswagen Beetle. I gotta say, I'm really liking this car. I, uh, I don't wanna give it back to the customer, but uh, well, I guess I got to. Anyways, let's head back to the shop and uh, finish up this walkthrough. Man, I gotta tell you, before we get back to the shop here, you know, we, we have a lot of opportunities to drive a lot of different cars here at EV West. And uh, this one, it just really speaks to your soul. It is just so much fun. There's something about it, it's light. It's maneuverable. It's a great little chassis. You know, Volkswagens have been around forever. Anybody can work on them. And this is a perfect platform for a DIY electric car conversion. All right, well, that concludes our video walkthrough of our 1963 Volkswagen Beetle. For more updates on vehicles that we're doing, check us out at evwest.com or follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash electric vehicle west. For EV West, I'm Michael Bream, and we'll see you next time. We are at the Swope's Cars of Yesteryear Museum in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. It has a number of beautiful, magnificent machines of the past that are very valuable, obviously. We will do anything we can to preserve this collection. We are in the process now of syllogetting these cars. By doing that, we are convinced that we're adding value to our collection. We like to offer the best of the best, and certainly Syllajet is that when it comes to protecting the finish of a car. And this, this 1928 Packard is unique in that it's all original. Uh, this is the paint that Packard put on the car in 1928, and 
When you own a car like this, you certainly want to put the very best product you possibly can on the finish to protect it because this is a car we cannot duplicate and we want to protect it for the ages. Well, Silijet truly is a unique product. It's, it's not a wax or a polymer that you just wipe on and wipe off. It takes a lot of training to apply Silijet properly and our team at Auto Detailing and More has been thoroughly trained on how you apply this product that was developed for the aircraft industry. And as everybody knows, aircraft endure tremendous temperature changes and very harsh elements. It's actually an acrylic and protects the finish so much better than these other products that are readily available on the market. We stand behind this product as does Silijet. So a lot of value in the product, but also a lot of protection. We are very pleased to be the exclusive dealer for the Silijet product in Central Kentucky. The stores in Elizabethtown and Louisville are the only place that a customer can get Silijet. And for the customer who's looking to put Silijet on their own personal car, our detail shop, Auto Detailing and More, is the exclusive detail shop in Central Kentucky. If we've trusted our priceless collection to Silijet, you can have confidence that Silijet will protect your investment in your car or truck. People come into this museum and they look at the cars and, and they're amazed. They're amazed at how beautiful they are, and they are going to be still more amazed when they see these cars that are completely silhouetted.